Hello, everybody. We're up here at our property in Lava Hot Springs, and right behind me, you can see that the bark beetle is starting to kill some of our trees, which is very sad. So what we've got here is some, um, what it's called beetle block MCH, and it's a pheromone, these little packets that you staple to the tree, and it kind of signals to the other beetles hey, this tree is full, too many beetles in this tree, move on to the next. But if you get a good coverage of your whole property, I think it said about 40 to 50 per acre, um, that they'll kind of signal to like, go elsewhere. So, And then when they go elsewhere, they die in flight. I guess they, they can't travel very far. That's why they kind of infect the trees next to them. So hopefully by doing this, we're able to hopefully help dwindle their population growth so but anyway we're gonna kind of record the process of trying to get rid of this beetle inf infestation on our property and hopefully if you are facing this problem uh, you can either learn good practices from us or maybe we'll have some lessons learned on how not to do it uh, anyway these the 200 packets we, we spent about 500, 480, but then with shipping, I think it was right around $500. So it's a bit pricey. And then uh, after you uh, put all these on there, I, I think actually before they want you to remove all the, the dead lumber and kind of stack it up and tarp it. Um, we're only two people, so we don't have a ton of uh, uh, resources to help with that. So we'll just do what we can. Mommy, why didn't harm came from this week? Good. No. So what we do is, it says to staple these about above six feet and I think, oh, is it 12 feet, 13, 12 feet? Mommy, can I count them up for you? Wait, Earl, real quick. It says to put them on the north side. Cool, a little animal trail right here that we could capitalize on if we wanted to tear it out. And... And come up this way. Come this way. Fire's gonna come help you. Hey, Terry. Holy cow, that's like a weird tree. You got a, that bent tree right there. Got to mention they tell you to put these on the north side of the tree ah! milwaukee it's the best uh i think one of the best brands out there here's that little uh, animal trail that we usually would follow up and down See, this is that trail that would be fun to work on. That would take way longer if I took that way. There am I. So if you look at the base of a tree, I think one of the signs they said is if it had this like orange sawdusty looking stuff. So I think this tree is actually under attack, which is sad. 
hopefully by putting a packet on it, maybe it'll signal to some beetles to leave it alone. But yeah, sad seeing all these trees under attack. We have just a few more of these. We weren't able to get every tree, but pretty good coverage throughout the lot. Is that the last one? Is that the last one? We have two more. Okay, you can draw. Here, Randy said to Ollie, rolling his eyes. He spoke quietly enough to be sure Vigo would not hear him. He would have just stuck to eating roadkill. I can't believe he hobbled after you all the way alone. Poss, that truck must have hit him right in the pride. Don't coyotes travel in packs? Ollie asked. Will more come to help him? Not Vigo. No one knows why, but he's traveled alone as long as I've known him. I can't imagine why anybody runs with him. A pleasant guy like that, Rennie Smirk. We have to